Hello, this is Mark LaRochelle from Productive Computing. Thanks for joining me on this video. Today I want to talk to you about Claris and their new offering called FileMaker Cloud. But more than just talking about FileMaker Cloud, I want to talk to you about traditional FileMaker Server. I also want to talk to you about hosting in general. What are the differences between traditional FileMaker hosting and FileMaker Cloud? What are those differences? And how does that differ from what I have today, let's say, if you have an on-premise FileMaker Server? Explain all that. So if you go to the Claris website and locate FileMaker Cloud, there's a page here that you'll notice, and it gives you the ad advantages and features. This was released in October of 2019, and it is a new and exciting offering from Claris, and it's something we here at Productive Computing are particularly excited about. Even though we already have a hosting company that provides a lot of these same features and benefits, we're still excited to see the way this is deployed because it does make it very easy for new users especially to get signed up with FileMaker right away and get working. So there's a comparison sheet at the bottom left here, and it'll bring you to this Claris FileMaker Cloud comparison. This is a nifty sheet that will really guide us through the differences here on this video. So when they wrote this middle column, which is the FileMaker server, the traditional FileMaker server, they wrote it with the assumption that we're talking about on-premise. I want you to think as we walk through this that that on-premise could also be hosted in the cloud with a company like Productive Computing, where we provide the infrastructure for you. It's just that we're using traditional FileMaker server. There's some advantages to that, of course, and we'll talk about those in a minute. So hosting, when it comes to FileMaker server, you host your custom apps on-premise or in the cloud with Productive Computing or a company like us. With FileMaker Cloud, you're hosting in the cloud, they do use AWS as well, which is known as Amazon Web Services, uh, but it is completely hands-free. In other words, you can go to the Claris website, get connected to FileMaker Cloud, and within moments, you will have availability to upload FileMaker files and begin development and hosting. Deployment. So deployment, in a traditional sense, requires you uh, to know a lot about IT. If you're going to have an on-premise server, you need to know how to secure it, how to make it performance capable, how to make it durable, how to make it available, how to configure it, lots of things to consider, firewall, ports, internet, domains, secure certificates, otherwise known as SSLs. That requires quite a bit of IT expertise, and if you don't have it yourself, you're going to have to hire it out. And there is some maintenance involved. OS updates, things like that are all going to be your responsibility. Now, if you host with a company like Productive Computing, all of that goes away as well. We handle all of that for you. All you need to do is worry about your development. With FileMaker Cloud, same thing. There is no server to worry about. All of that infrastructure is provided for you. You just have an easy way to upload your apps and begin development. Licensing. With traditional FileMaker Server, you have all the licensing options available. You have the annual licensing as well as perpetual licensing. So it is flexible if you are looking for a perpetual license, you still have that option with traditional FileMaker Server. And that applies to on-premise deployment as well as hosting with productive computing. When it comes to licensing for FileMaker Cloud, it's subscription-based and it's $39 per user per month billed annually with a minimum of five users. And with that comes a point of contact for sales as well as one for support. So it's very easy to understand and it's very easy to scale up. You can start with five users and then move to six, seven. You can increment by one going up and that's renewed annually. Okay, hardware costs. Obviously, if you're deploying on-premise, you're gonna be responsible to purchase server-capable hardware and that can be in the tens of thousands depending on the situation that you're in. With the FileMaker Cloud, all of that is included. And they are using AWS, so it's a scalable model. If you want to scale up and down, it's possible to do so without actually moving hardware. IT impact. Well, with traditional FileMaker server, it is going to require some expertise and some administrative tasks, as I had mentioned earlier. Uh, when it comes to FileMaker Cloud, there is minimal impact to existing technical staff. The same applies to hosting with Productive. The admin console comes in six languages for both platforms. So that is similar, if not the same. Centralized management. What that means is with FileMaker Cloud, you have a new option here, which is you can manage your teams and your groups, essentially your security and authentication, using FileMaker ID. And that's all derived in something called the FileMaker Customer Console. And that's a web-based portal, if you will, that will allow you to manage all of that information. So it's a new feature. And in many ways, there's advantages to use that over traditional authentication 
especially if right now you're only exercising the built-in security of a FileMaker file. Having this option with the FileMaker Customer Console and the adoption of FileMaker ID, the users and the groups, does give you great flexibility over what it is today. If you are using Active Directory today, that is still going to be provided by traditional FileMaker server and only FileMaker server at this time. And we'll talk about that here in a second. When it comes to maintaining your services, monitoring and OS updates are your responsibility. In the case of hosting with productive computing, we handle that. In the case of FileMaker Cloud, that's all handled for you automatically if you apply the automatic updates. Backups. When it comes to your own on-premise server, backups are going to be something you're totally responsible for. There's possibly some advantages. You can change and derive your backups however you'd like, and you can customize that in any uh, form or fashion in terms of frequency, in terms of location of where those backups might be, uh, might end up. With FileMaker Cloud, that's all taken care of for you with increments of every 20 minutes. And there is some great fidelity in that where you can go several hours back, find a 20 minute increment that you're happy with and revert your file to that particular point in time. Scalability? Well, when it comes to scalability, if you want to add performance to your server, you in most cases need to consider a new server or some downtime or some significant downtime in some cases. When it comes to FileMaker Cloud or hosting with PCI, you can actually scale up rather easily with the click of a button and a server restart. Well, capacities are quite different between the two platforms. With FileMaker Server, the traditional FileMaker Server, there is more capability. It's been tested for 500 FileMaker Pro Advanced, FileMaker Go, and FileMaker WebDirect clients. With FileMaker Cloud, it's been tested for 250 FileMaker Pro Advanced clients, 100 FileMaker Go, WebDirect, and FileMaker Data API clients. So slightly less on the testing front when it comes to FileMaker Cloud. If you are planning a large deployment, you'll want to stick with traditional server, at least for now. Security, they're both similar in their security. They both support AES 256-bit encryption. For certificates, here's a distinct advantage where you might want FileMaker Cloud over traditional FileMaker server. The SSL certificate is a manual install using traditional server, and some have reported that's something that you might need a little extra help on, more expertise, especially if you've never done that before. With PCI, of course, we take care of all the SSLs for you. There's no additional effort required there. Just like in FileMaker Cloud, there's no effort with that SSL. It's all built in and included in the subscription cost. Huge, huge benefit there. Authentication, as I mentioned earlier, traditional server still supports Active Directory, Open Directory, and OAuth with 2.0. Um, OAuth 2.0, by the way, is something that's so robust, we actually created a course for it that can be found at Productive Computing University. If you want to learn more about how authentication works with traditional FileMaker server, you'll definitely want to check out that course. With FileMaker Cloud, we use FileMaker ID, a new single sign-on system to authenticate users, and it supports optional multi-factor authentication. If you are looking for multi-factor authentication and it's a requirement and mandate for your users, then this is a great option. FileMaker Cloud is going to handle that out of the box. REST APIs, FileMaker Data API and FileMaker Admin API are included in both. Uh, the only difference here is that on the traditional FileMaker server, Tableau is supported only on the desktop version. With FileMaker Cloud, Tableau Desktop and Tableau Server are supported. OData is something that really wasn't supported on traditional FileMaker server. It is now supported with the through the data API with FileMaker Cloud. This is a new up and coming uh, service being offered by Claris. I believe that OData will eventually replace ODBC in general when it comes to the Claris platform. With ODBC and JDBC, you have full support on traditional server, yet on FileMaker Cloud, only ODBC import is supported. So that's something to be aware of. If you've got heavy infrastructure built in and around ODBC, you'll probably want to stick with traditional server, at least for the short run. External SQL data sources are fully supported on traditional server, including the additional services for the ESS adapter. With FileMaker Cloud, external SQL data sources are supported, but not services that use the ESS adapter. Automation, and here's another biggie. You can schedule server-side scripts as needed. You get the full availability that you've always had with traditional server. With FileMaker Cloud, script scheduling is going to be limited to availability only through the FileMaker Data API. So you'll have to roll your own front end for automating scripts. For some, that's important. For others, it may not be. Storage. When it comes to storage, that is going to depend on the hardware that you purchase. In the case of PCI and FileMaker Cloud, it's essentially unlimited storage. With FileMaker Cloud, there's a defined plan for that. You have a minimum of five users. 
With those five users, you get 30 gigs of storage for your deployment. Each additional user is allocated an additional six gigabytes per year. Of course, you can purchase more storage as well. Here's another biggie. If you use server-side plugins, they are fully supported with traditional FileMaker Server. They're not supported on FileMaker Cloud. If you use PHP, that is supported on traditional FileMaker Server. It is not supported and won't be with FileMaker Cloud. So I hope that clarifies some of the finer points and details between FileMaker Cloud and FileMaker Server, and hopefully introduced you to some of the services we can provide here at Productive Computing, such as traditional FileMaker Server hosting, through AWS, you don't need your own AWS account. We handle everything. All you need to do is sign up and we can start hosting your files. You'll work directly with our staff and we help you with any question along the way. It is completely VIP service, 100% from top to bottom. We also have QuickBooks Desktop hosting for those of you who are anxious to work with QuickBooks Desktop, but also want to make that available in the cloud. We're the only company in the Claris slash FileMaker industry that is certified to do so with Intuit. So that's something that we can offer to the industry, and we're quite excited about that as well. Thanks for joining me on this video. Please subscribe for more. Feel free to leave a comment or a question, and we'll do our best to answer it right here in the comments under this video. Stay tuned for more. We'll have more content as things become available. Things are changing quickly at Claris, and we're very excited here at Productive Computing to bring you that information. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you on the next one.